Seth Hodge with Board Game Week here with Attila Soji and Dominic Krantz with A Games, and we're looking at Yukon today. Hi, this is uh, another game in the family line that I mentioned earlier. This is basically uh, from the guy who, who made uh, Sakura last year. Okay. Uh, he's, uh, he does usually our family games in the, in the Chaba series. Hagedush. Chaba Hagedush. Chaba Hegedush. See on the box. Oh, yeah. It's another Hungarian with a difficult name that <laughs> not very easy for people to pronounce. Uh, this is quite a, a simple family style game. It takes about 30 minutes to play. Okay. Um, it, two to four players. Two to four players. Um, it happens at the time of the big gold rush in the U.S. Okay. Uh, so you basically, you set up a board like this. Uh, uh, this tiles um, seven by seven, and uh, as you see, there is some gold and there's some pebbles, which are basically useless <laughs> or, or negative. I want the points. gold. <laughs> yeah, usually <laughs> that's the aim of the game is to get the gold. Excellent. Okay, so you set up the board like that, and you have a sheriff tile that will be the the first player. And we put this gold digger there, and uh, depending on how many players are playing. The rules are a little bit different, so if there is two players, uh, one player will always play uh, vertically and the other player will always play horizontally, oh, okay. so all throughout the game. So basically what you do is when it's your turn, if you are doing horizontal uh, player, you look at what tiles are available, um, you try to pick the one which is good for you in, in this turn, but it needs a little bit of planning also, because if you, for example, take this one, you will get the tile, which was uh, which is at the spot, and the uh, gold digger moves here. But then you have to think about the other player. They will yeah. move in the, in the vertical direction, and they have a very yeah. high value tile. Ah, so yeah. you, you give them a chance to it's earn a, more. A game with simple Pretty rules, abstract. but yeah. a little bit abstract. But you need to think a few rounds ahead to make Perfect. sure that. And so, if you're playing with more players. If you're playing with three players, you're alternating, so you're going this way Alternate. once and that way once. And if you're playing with four players, it's the same as with two players. So two players are playing this way, and the other two playing players are working that way. That makes around sense. Around the table. You're just trying to collect all the gold that you can get. Yes, you're trying to maximize uh, your gold. Uh, basically, at the end of the game, if you collected the most gold, you're the winner. Yes. And you keep playing until you cannot move in a, in a direction anymore. Because, okay, so for example, until if, someone I, can if there was no more tiles here and, and moved here and couldn't go in that direction anymore, the game is over. It can happen sometimes that all the tiles are removed, but that's quite rare. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I wouldn't want you to get all the tents, so... This is quite easy to play, even for younger children. <laughs> yeah, if you want to make it a little bit more complex, there is some uh, additional character tiles oh, that you can add to the game. Uh, these ones are added to the board, oh, okay. so uh, these ones are also. So, you can get so if you're using these, then you're making a slightly bigger board, oh, so okay. eight by eight, and uh, they have different abilities. They all have different abilities. Some of them activate instantly, and some of them give you points at the end of the game. Oh, okay. For example, there's uh, there's this one here. It's, it's an interesting one, where you can, if you if it's in the game, you place three of these uh, tiles on there. And it's not actually removed when you move here, but you take one of them, and it's got victory points oh, okay. or gold so at like the end of the game. This, so when you when you go on this guy, you can claim yeah. one of these tokens, which have values. Ah, on yes. You don't know what higher, you're gonna get. No. And when when there's only one there left, then you basically take that. Tile it's always and, good. And it's, it's always positive points. It's always positive. Yeah, these are. But some of them are higher value. Some of them are lower. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, these seem really cool. That changes up the game a little bit. Changes yeah, also with the characters you play on a bigger area, so not, yeah. not a 7x7 seven seven, uh, instead of an 8x8 eight eight area. So that's basically the game. Perfect. Not yeah. very complex, very that easy to play with the family. And that's it's available beautiful. today? Yes, that's also available today. the also. official release. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, you everybody. Much.